I thought that's where we were going. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So today we are on the search for a hamster. Um, I had been checking back with um, Petco to see if that other one was brought back, but it, Sally has not. So um, I'm thinking it went to a good home. I'm hoping for the best for um, that little hammy that we wanted to get um but today and also real quick just to let you guys know um i don't have because i know a lot of people were telling me you know to check sh shelters um i have trust me um all the shelters in my area um only have cats and dogs so they don't even take in small animals uh, especially hamsters so which like I've said before in my previous videos, it's kind of strange because where do people go, you know, to, if they can't take care of their hamster or small animal anymore, you know, where do they go? You know, are they just letting them free? Um, so that's kind of concerning for my area. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, I'm sure a lot of people go to Craigslist and I used to do, um, or I used to check Craigslist a lot um, until an incident happened where it was a bit scary and threatening to me. So right now at the moment, um, I'm kind of staying away from Craigslist. Um, like I said before, it had nothing to do with an animal, but with something else. And um, so I'm, I'm not ready for Craigslist yet. And I think that safety is a very important, which is sad. And I know um, I used to check Craigslist all the time for, you know, hamsters and stuff like that. So, uh, but for the time being, I'm, I'm just trying to be safe and I'm still a little scared to go back on Craigslist. Um, but like I said, the other option is um, people bringing back their hamsters to Petco or PetSmart, um, you know, either them not wanting the hamster anymore or got sick or, um, something to that to those lines but what happens is when they do when someone does bring a hamster back to Petco or PetSmart they'll set up like a little adoption section either in the front of the store next to the register or they will have them kept in the back room if anyone um, wants to adopt one so that is what we are hoping for what I'm doing today is I'm gonna call Petco first before I make my way there and we're gonna see what they say if they doing Roche you're not feeling good? No. <laughs> Look at mom's outside. No, I have to, I'm going back to school. Why? Yeah, I got Mom's cleaning up out there. With Abby. So well, first off, um, we are going to be calling Petco because I want to see if they even have any that are available for adoption. So let's just get Petco on the phone. Press one. For directions to our store, press two. For customer service, press three or remain on the line for assistance. Customer service. I hope you guys can hear. Hello, we also have positive training and guaranteed grooming. How can we help you today? Hi, uh, I was wondering uh, if you guys had any hamsters that were up for adoption. One Is moment, it? please. Okay, hon. <laughs> I think she might be asking. The music is kind of scary. No, ma'am, we do not currently have any small animals for adoption. Okay, thank you so much. No. Okay, bye. Well, that's a bummer. Gonna keep checking back and seeing when one will be available. We could also try to call PetSmart. Did you know that you can book your pet's grooming appointment online? Visit PetSmart.com and book with your favorite groomer. For store hours and location, press 1. For pet training information, press... So press number 3. <laughs> Thank you for calling Pet Smart. Sandra, how may I help you? Hi, uh, I was wondering if you guys had any hamsters that were up for adoption or someone brought one back. Let me let you talk to someone at Pet Care. Can you hold on a second? Sure, please? sure. Thank you. I thought that's where we were going. <laughs> Pet care, how can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if you guys had any hamsters uh, that were up for adoption or someone brought back? Um, we have one that's for adoption. Okay. 
Well, we have one winter white that's for adoption. Um, he got in a fight with his cage mate, and it messed up his eye. Oh, okay. Um, so we have that one, and then we have a short-haired Syrian hamster that got out and was out for a few months roaming the store, so we have to adopt him out. Okay. He's been seen, he's been seen by the vet and everything, and she said he was healthy. Okay. But we just can't sell him because he was out for so long. Okay. Well, I'm glad you guys caught him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, okay, do, I, I'll probably come in today to look at them both. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys. So, PetSmart has two that are available for adoption. One, she said, was a winter white that um, has some... He didn't get along with his cage mate and... Um, he was fighting and he has a little bit of a hurt eye she said and then there was also um, a Syrian hamster that they have to adopt out that she said got loose in the store and they finally found him which is goodness concerning I'm really glad that they found him um, so which they have to now adopt out and not sell um, so we are going to go to PetSmart and we're going to go ahead and check them out. Stop talking and let's just go check it out. Hey guys, we are at PetSmart. Let's get out of the car and go in. I hope they will let me film inside. So let's just hope for the best. So I'm trying to find someone that will help me to find out where those adopted or those two hamsters are. So I'm going to try and find someone. can't find anyone. <laughs> Walking around. Hey, uh, I called earlier if you guys had any uh, hamsters for adoption. For adoption? Yeah. Like not up front? Yeah. Um, she said you guys had two and I asked her if it was okay or came in with that one. Okay, we're just waiting now because she needs to find that lady. Look at all the cute stuff. Can I come with or? Oh, yeah. I'm going to okay. wait out here in front of the back. Adoption for the kids. This is bring you back. Okay, hon, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Just wait right here. Okay. She's going to get him, you guys. Here's all the kitties. All the poor little kitties. Aww. Oh, he's so cute. Is it okay if I film? Is oh, it okay? Okay. okay. Oh, he's so cute. So that was his hurt eye? Yeah. Oh, do we know how old he is? A couple months. Just a couple months? Is he getting any kind of medication or? I have no idea. You have no idea? I don't normally do the back rooms. Yeah. Oh, he's so sweet. I think I'm going to take him. Okay. Yeah. Let's take him. All right. We'll go ahead and bring him over here then. And okay. Get you to fill out the paperwork for him. Okay. So you want me to come with you? Yes. Okay. Oh, poor little girl. What did he just um, get brought back? Yeah, she wants him. Oh, yeah, he's really sweet. He's so sweet. Oh, right. Poor guy. <laughs> It's just that one eye, he can't really like close. Yeah, okay. That's the only thing that's really wrong with him. Okay. But he, do you know if he requires medicine or anything? Yeah, no, does he? Um, I mean, I don't know if he vet, was getting the, anything from no, the vet. Okay. The vet didn't say anything. Um, I mean, I would just keep a, like a, uh, like a watch on that eye just in case. Okay. Like it gets dry or something because he can't close it. Okay. That's the only thing okay. that might. But um, he's been back there for a few months, and he hasn't had any issues since, so. Okay. Um, All right. Oh, but a few months? That long? Mm -hmm. Oh, poor guy. Um, Hold him if you want. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. yeah? okay. He's really nice. He's gonna put the cane. 
and it's yummy. Oh. Yeah, you can come home with me. Yes. You gonna come home. I got everything set up. Big cage. So oh, sweet. Is this your first hamster? Sorry? Is this your first hamster? No. I've had many hamsters. I actually have a hamster YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, is that why you're filming? Them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Up here. Oh, you have the sun down there too, buddy. Okay, hun. Doesn't matter what order. Okay. It's always the really chunky ones that are the sweetest. It's so Very sweet. Good. No one's up in my Really? Because, yeah, he's really sweet. He always comes out every morning like. Oh. Look at you giving him all this stuff you want to give him. <laughs> I usually do that. There's a cheese stick right over here. Yeah, I usually give him a cheese stick. I'm just picking it. Cute. And just. I was about to sign the manager's <laughs> signature. <laughs> All right, you can come up front with me. Okay. And we'll go, she's going to bring that back up here in a minute. And okay. I'll give you this. They'll, they'll give you the white part. Okay, hon. You want a name for him? Not yet. I always wait a little bit, you know, a couple days until I, you know, see his personality and then I usually give them names. Yeah. Well, so have, we'll see. You'll have a good time. Yes. yes. Okay, hun. Thank you so much for helping. Hey, you guys. So here he is. Um, I didn't film him, you know, when I got home. just because um, I wanted to get him in the cage, you know, properly. So, but look at him. He is, right now, he's exploring everything. And um, his eye is hurt. I'm going to leave him completely alone for the next few days here and I don't want to bother him because I don't want to stress him out. It looks like he's enjoying his food though right now which is so sweet. He does have a hurt eye just like the lady had said. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it myself and I'm going to see if I need to take him to the vets or not. Um, so I'm going to you know, make sure to watch that. Hello! He's very active because of the sweet ladies from PetSmart. We're handling him a lot. He is quite tame, which is a good thing. I'm going to let him be and let him explore a little bit. Um, I don't know a name yet. You guys leave me some name suggestions down below. Um, usually it takes me a few days to kind of come up with a name. Oh so yeah, we will see. I think he's really happy right now. He's really around looking at his new home, which is exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one and we'll see how he is doing. I hope that um, his eye will get better. We will see. I think she had said that he can't close that one eye. So um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I hope that I can you know, provide him with a long and healthy life. So I'm really excited about that. So he is a winter white, um, obviously not a purebred, so he is a hybrid. Hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see all of you guys very, very soon. Bye!